listening to the lady cry on the other end of the line. Just, it, 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 that's worth more than you know, knowing that I've reunited her with that than prosecuting the bad guy. A Fort Wayne police detective hits a milestone. He's recovered more than one million dollars of stolen stuff in our community. Good evening, I'm Heather Heron. And I'm Brett Thomas. You can call Detective Joe Lyon the pawn shop cop. His relationship with business owners all across the area getting people reconnected with some really important items. News Channel 15's Chris Darby got an inside look at the detective's recovery operation today and he has tonight's top story. Another Brett, stolen property has to end up somewhere. Thieves usually looking for a quick buck. Every day, though, Detective Joe Lyon is on the case, connecting reports with the merchandise. One person. Now, this was a crew, people. Detective Joe Lyon is looking back on several old cases, thinking about the impact his work has produced. He's crossed the million-dollar mark as far as monetary value, but it's that sentimental value that keeps him going. When I call people and say, you know, I, I think I found your stuff, yeah, it's just, oh my God, really? That, 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 I still get a chill out of that. And I've been doing this since 2011. Every time I hear that, I get a chill. His biggest recovery, $130,000 in jewelry taken from a store. I mean, some of those items, I, it, I was just like, wow. They were just beautiful pieces of jewelry. His system of investigating got him the result. More often than not, here's how it works. Lyon starts by checking police reports. He'll take notes on something stolen. Then he checks an online database connecting pawn shops and other businesses. He keeps record of transactions. Then he gets to work making connections. When it first came online and agencies started really getting to use it, bad guys never knew what hit them. They, they, we were just locking people up right and left or recovering property like there was nobody's business. What's key here, though, is the detective's relationship with pawn shop owners, checking in with them daily. In fact, the view from his office is B&B &B loan, something that has worked the department's advantage on several occasions. When we take something in, if we don't feel right about it, you know, uh, you know a lot of times we contact Joe. More than once, that phone call has resulted in an on-site bust. And when the rightful owner gets their merchandise back, it's part of the whole process. It's a good feeling that we did what we were supposed to do. Lyon has one of the more popular positions in the department. I asked him if he's giving it up anytime soon. I could retire in two years if I want to. I don't. I, I, I love what I do. Curious about what the oddest item Detective Lyon has recovered? He tells me it was four totes of Beanie Babies. In Studio 15, Chris Darby, News Channel 15.